So which of these statistics do you believe? Bath tower recycling in hotels increased by 26% when patrons were told that the previous patron recycled. A well-known brand of soap sold significantly more units at $18.99 than either $15.99 or $12.99. Men spend 68% more online than women, despite the fact that women spend significantly more than men offline. When offered 24 options of a product, 3% of consumers made a purchase, but when offered six options of a product, 30% of consumers made a purchase. 96% of unhappy customers don't complain and 91% just don't come back, whilst most complainers are in fact brand supporters. 72% of people over the age of 50 claim they are frightened of the internet and 70% of people over the age of 50 claim to be frightened of life in general. So which of these statistics is correct and which of them is incorrect? Well, the fact of the matter is they're all absolutely correct. What is more, all of the studies leading to these statistics have been replicated. These statistics are, of course, counterintuitive. And because they are counterintuitive, they bring into serious question the reliability of intuition. And so they should. Intuition is, in fact, highly unreliable. It is unreliable because, amongst other things, neither consumers nor the decision makers trying to sell them stuff are rational. Indeed, some 80% of human decisions by both consumers and the decision makers trying to sell them stuff involve little or no cognitive input. Relying on intuition in the absence of data is one of the most wasteful things a marketer can do. And in a world in which data is readily available on just about any subject at any time, relying on intuition is simply unnecessary. It is smarter by far to put in place the systems to gather the data you need to make the right decisions no matter how intuitive it all might seem. For more information on this subject, visit www.djohncarlsonesq.com. That's www.djohncarlsonesq.com.